Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial. In the last couple of tutorials we have seen to create the Jira workflow from scratch then customize the workflow understood about the conditions validators and post functions then we created the workflow scheme associated the workflow that we created from scratch to the scheme and then associated that scheme to the project. Now in this tutorial we are going to see how the new workflow that we have associated with it, with the project might impact the board and how you need to work on the board. So currently uh, RCV Academy was the project for which we associated the new workflow scheme. So we'll choose that particular project and then we'll go to the board. Right? So if you click on the left hand side on the boards, you will see the board won't look um, I mean it will be similar board as it was before but if we go to the board section and click on configure then we'll see some of the unmapped statuses from the new workflow right so if you go to the columns now here you can see these were some of the um, already existing column uh, from software simplified workflow which is unavailable at the moment you can see software simplified workflow unavailable this is unable to see to use the software simplified workflow because we have associated a different workflow to this project now the different workflow that we worked or associated has the the statuses like in development open closed in testing etc so we need to map those statuses with the columns here and there is no to do status in the new workflow and that is why you see that this status is not available in any of the workflow used by this board so we need to remove this and to remove this status we just need to drag and drop the unmapped status and it will disappear right now we need to map the unmapped statuses to the board right so to do is something which is which can be mapped with open as well as reopen right then in development can be in progress and ideally we should be having a column for in testing because that does make sense to have a separate column for in testing and we'll drag and drop in testing to in testing column and then we have done wherein we can map done closed and resolved statuses in the done status so now you can see that we have come up with a new board altogether and mapped all the unmapped statuses from the workflow that we created to the new board right so we have created a new column there and if we go back to the board now Then you can see that you have to do in progress in testing and done now let's go ahead and start testing some of the uh, conditions and validators and post functions that we defined in this um, project right so if we try to move a issue from in progress to in testing i can't do that right and why is it not possible so we need to understand that when we define the condition then we define in the condition that a member whosoever is a member of a developer group will be able to move the issue from in progress to testing and no one else can similarly if it is if i choose from to do in progress i can do that but from in progress to in testing i can't even though I'm an administrator so if I go and see the user management I'm logged in as administrator and if you see here um, I'm in the Jira internal directory but I'm not part of any of the group which is the developers group 
So let's understand, let's see who is part of the developers group. So M Kumar is part of the developers group, if you see here. So what we'll do is we'll log in as M Kumar and then go to the same project and try to move the stat, uh, move the issue from development to testing and see if M Kumar can move the issue from uh, one column to other, from development to in testing. So let me log off and I'll log in again. once I'm logged in so I'm logged in now as M Kumar and I'll go to the RCV Academy project so at the moment if you see uh, the current project is RCV Academy project and I'll try to move the issue from in progress to in testing yes I can so you see the perforation here uh, the green color that means I can move the issue from one column to other, right? And if you click on this issue now in testing, um, it will open the details. So let me refresh the page. Yeah, it's still loading. So you can see that if I click on the view workflow and we'll see the workflow is the correct workflow that we allocated to RCV Jira workflow tutorial. That's the workflow we created from scratch. So we, we have defined that from in development to in testing, only a person who is member of the developer group will be able to move and other persons won't be able to move. And this um, basically proves that whatever condition we had mentioned is working perfectly fine. So hope you liked the video. In next tutorial, we'll test some of the more uh, validations and post functions that we set up for this uh, workflow. Thank you for watching.